Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through the top five tents for three season tent camping. So this is a two person dome style tent. This is great for three season camping. I have had it in somewhat winter type camping before. I've had it up to probably about 20 degrees, around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has kept me warm, but the colder it gets with these type of tents, the more uncomfortable you're gonna be. That's why I suggest mainly three season camping. There are uh, winter type tents, thicker canvas and, and heating or heating elements inside of them. So it's up to you what you can handle as far as weather goes. But when I say three season camping, I mainly mean spring, summer, fall. Temperatures ranging somewhere between 40 degrees and, and summer, you know, so somewhere in that range. So like I said, this is a two person dome tent. Uh, it's marketed as two person. You can fit two people in here. However, you're gonna be close. Why are you holding my hand? So, you know, if you're camping with your buddy, you guys are gonna be very comfortable with each other by the end of the trip. Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. Ah! Either way. So, I've got the rain fly on this right now just to kind of show you the size of the footprint. It is smaller and one of the great benefits of this style of tent is that it's great for entry level backpacking type things. This tent altogether weighs about five pounds, a little over five pounds packed in packed form. You can, if you're backpacking with someone else, split that weight up. Somebody take the poles and the stakes and the other person takes maybe the tent and the rain fly. And distribute that weight a little bit more if you're just getting into backpacking. Uh, this is also great for tent camping. I've taken this on scout camps all the time. This is probably one of my favorite tents. To be honest, this is really ideal for one person camping with some gear. This is a, kind of the dome style tent because it gives kind of that roundish style look. So that's why they call them kind of like dome tents. Uh, like this, like I said, this is the rain fly on this. It has two doors. It has a front door or back door so that if you are camping with another person, you don't have to crawl over that other person in the morning or during the night when you get out and you gotta go to the bathroom or something. Uh, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. This style of tent is all over the internet. You can get them fairly cheap, which is why it's a great entry level backpacking type tent. This one here, particular one here, was made by Ozark Trail. I do highly recommend it. If you are interested in this one, I will try to put a link in the description down below. So you'll notice with this size of the tent, it is fairly low to the ground. So if you're getting in and out of it, you're usually gonna be down on the ground on your knees. I do suggest some type of underlayment or something like that when you're setting these types of tents up. Uh, a, they're more comfortable to sit on, to stand on, kneel on when you're inside of the tent. And it gives you a little bit of protection as you're getting in and out so you're not down in the wet mud or something like that. Uh, you can put a ground cloth down as well, it's up to you. So you see to get in it. So you're basically crawling in and out of the tent as you get in and out. This is me inside of the tent. You can see I've got plenty of room. For reference, I'm like 5'10", 5'11 on a good day but I've got plenty of room to lay in here and have room next to me for someone else or extra gear. So this is a great tent if you have a cot and you're doing cot camping like myself, I'm getting old now, I'm tired laying on the ground and when I can, and if I'm car camping or something like that, I'll bring a cot, lay that out in here and then put my sleeping bag on top of it. When I do set up my cot, it leaves me around a foot and a half, maybe two feet from the edge of the cot to the wall to put gear. However, because I'm on an elevated surface, I do have room underneath me. So keep that in mind if you are considered cot camping in this style of tent. You do have room underneath you to put gear. I'll usually store bags away, uh, clothes, whatever, extra gear underneath my cot. And that way I do have open space to be able to get dressed in the morning. Another downfall of this style of tent is it is not very tall. I'm sitting right now and I've got, you know, some, some room above me, but not a ton. So if you are cot camping, that cot is gonna bring you up a little bit higher. So it is gonna be less room. You're gonna be hunched over a little bit more, getting dressed, keep that stuff in mind when you're getting dressed in the morning, if you have mobility issues or something like that, this might not be this tile of tent for you. You might wanna consider something a little taller. So this is the entry level two person dome tent 
highly do recommend it. It's gone through a lot of weather. Like I said, this has the rain fly on it right now. But if you were to take it off in good camping weather, if you're seeing maybe summer camping and you're camping overnight and you know the weather's clear, the entire top of this tent is all mesh. So you could sleep out under the stars, so to speak, without the bugs just getting all over you and the mosquitoes just feasting on you all night long. So that is kind of cool. And it does give a ton of air circulation by having this all kind of mesh material. Uh, as far as storage for a tent like this goes, you do have a pocket in that corner and a pocket in that corner. That's basically it. Uh, they're just two little mesh pockets, enough to maybe hold your keys or a cell phone or something like that, uh, bat or flashlight if you want to be able to get to that during the night. It does have a hook up above in the top here or a kind of a circle type thing, grommet, that you can hang a light off of. I've done that a lot in the past where I have a little small lantern hang it off of there, even a small hanging solar battery powered fan or something, that's great to hang over you and kind of cast some light throughout the tent and when it's dark at night. Next up is another dome style tent, but this time you're talking about a four person tent. Tons more room, really comfortable for two people. Three people is starting to get you're close to one another, that's fine. And four is basically, your four, all four are gonna be in there, but there's gonna be very limited space for gear. Think of it almost like sleeping bag ratings where you can fit four people in here, but that's basically all you're fitting in here. This tent here, I've taken the rain fly off of it just to kind of show you that structure that most of these have. It's usually a crisscross type pattern with the poles. Poles can come in either aluminum or fiberglass. Usually the fiberglass ones are nicer and stronger, but they can be a little heavier, so it all depends on what you're looking for. This one here doesn't have the mesh, the mesh netting all the way across the top like our Ozark Trail one. This one has some netting at the top and two corners, and then it does have an internal window to zip down to get some cross air in there. This one does have two doors. The rainfly does come down similar to the other one where it does give you a little bit of a vestibule outside to put a bag of gear or something or maybe your boots at night so you don't want them bringing muddy boots or something into the tent you can do that but it'll keep rain off of them come on inside all right so now i'm inside this four person tent this one you could see i can get up on my knees and basically sit in the middle of the tent before my head starts hitting the top of the roof a little bit more headroom with this style of tent. And you can tell I can lay here. If I'm laying off to the side, I've got one, let's see, two, oh, three, four. Oh yeah, that was stupid. So you can see I can fit four people across in here, but it is gonna be a little snug when you're bringing in gear. You can maybe put stuff towards them, maybe towards your feet. You maybe have enough room unless you're super tall. Maybe fit a little bit of gear at your feet or maybe in the front. But the more people you put in here, the more you risk pressing up against the side of the tent when you're sleeping at night. And you don't wanna do that. If you can stay at least a few inches off the side of the tent, you're not gonna wake up wet in the morning from all the condensation that builds up. Moisture is the essence of wetness. That's another thing to note. The more people you put in these tents, the more condensation you're gonna get from people breathing and stuff all night long. And it makes it harder for these tents to ventilate. There is some screen mesh on both sides of me here. Like I said, there is a window on the front and the back as well as the roof. So it is fairly well insula or uh, ventilated. As far as storage goes, there's a small mesh pocket over there and another one behind me. And a lot of these larger ones sometimes will have a, a mesh screen like this that you can hang from the ceiling to store some other gear up above you. Be cautious about those though, because there are no sides usually to them. It's just a kind of a flat thing. And depending on what you put up there, you don't want to have something heavy crashing down on you at night, uh, you know, hitting you in the face. It has happened. So some pros and cons of a four person style dome tent. Some of the great pros are it gives you space if you're with two people. You're going to be very comfortable if you have two people in here. Uh, we use this tile, it's actually this exact tent for a lot of our scouting events. So we put two kids in here and they've got plenty of room to sprawl all their stuff all over the place, put extra gear. If you are camping with two adults, couple going out camping, or if you're out hunting and camping overnight, whatever the case may be, this is great for two people. And you can put a tote in the middle to hold your gear. 
set it between your two. X is kind of a makeshift end table. There's plenty of room in this for that. So those are some of the great pros of a tent like this. Another pro is because this is probably one of the most common style tents, you can usually get these fairly cheap. Cons of a tent like this though, you can't quite stand up in it. So if you are, you know, if, if your struggle with, with like hunched, being hunched over all the time, you might struggle with this style of tent. You really can't get up. You can tell it's, it is shorter than me. So you can't stand in here. You, you have to be kind of hunched over or like I said, on your knees or crawling around as you're moving around inside the tent. Another one of the cons is the weight. So this is gonna be more of your car camping type of a tent. Uh, I wouldn't suggest backpacking with something like this. You can get them fairly light, but remember with a tent, the lighter you go, the more money you're gonna spend. For entry level tent camping like this one here, you could usually pick these up under $100, sometimes a little over $100, depending on what type of brand you're looking at. I'll link some down in the description below if you're interested in getting into stuff like this, some good entry level ones. You're looking probably in the ranges of somewhere between on average seven to 12 pounds for something like this. Uh, it's a lot more material. They usually do make them cheaper, so they're making them with heavier type materials. The rain flies, the, uh, the tent itself, usually some really thick nylon bases, lighter stuff. They try to lighten it up with some screens here and there, but it is the overall size and packable weight. You're looking somewhere around that 10 pound mark. All right, next up, we have a TP style tent. This one I got through a battle box. Uh, it has some benefits, but a lot of cons as well. They do come mainly, most of the ones you see out there usually are this color green for some reason. I don't know why, but they, you, they do come in other colors if you look harder. So as far as price goes, they're usually in that $100 to $200 range for a tent like this. This one here is marketed as a four person tent. I'm gonna lean more towards two. So you can get three people in here fairly comfortably with enough room for gear. But putting four in here, you're gonna have someone next to the door all the time and that's not gonna work out well. Pros and cons. The price range is a little pricey, but not terrible. It is good to get into camping, maybe something more along year two or something if you're getting into tent camping and you want something different. This is gonna give you a good pro of being able to stand in it. Uh, you notice it is fairly tall. Uh, another pro is there is a, this takes up a huge amount of space. So you have a ton of floor space in the tent that you can store gear and put whatever. Another main pro is there's only one pole. So you basically roll this thing out, you put your, your stakes in, and then it's one pole in the middle, right up the center, and you're set up. So setting this tent up is actually fairly quick. I've taken this on a few camps now where others have been still setting up their tent when I'm done and kind of laying in my tent relaxing. They're still setting things up. Another pro but kind of con is this specific tent here has windows in it. Uh, you'll notice it has plastic kind of windows on it. And that a pro of that is you can look out the tent and see things. And it does have privacy screens you can pull down. But however, a con of that is this plastic radiates sun heat. So if you're in like early spring or late fall type camping, that might be a benefit because it does warm the tent significantly. Any type of camping in this tent in the summertime is almost unbearable. There have been, I've taken this on a few summer camps now and I have taken the top little rain fly thing off to allow some of the heat to try to be able to escape out the top, but it just gets ridiculously hot in here. Usually in the summer with the dead heat, sun heat coming on it, you're, you're over hundred degrees inside here. So I've had fans and stuff going, trying to blow that heat out. Usually during the day, you're not in the tent, you're mainly, mainly at night, so it's not terrible. However, another con of having these windows is it is notoriously a leak point when it rains. This is a very fair weather tent. Uh, I would not take this on any type of rainy event. I've had this in the rain now three, four times. I've tried everything from spray seal, seam seals on these windows, whatever. They always leak at the bottom two corners. I wake up in the morning, there are three windows on this tent. 
every morning I wake up when it rains, I've got six massive puddles at the bottom of my tent that I have to dry, sop up. So your gear is gonna get wet if it's on the floor. So here's another one of these windows. That's kind of what it looks like. Below the window, this does have three massive screened vents for ventilation. They do help a little bit, but like I said, the heat, it doesn't circulate that well. It does have some air input, especially at nighttime, you'll feel it. It's kind of nice to sleep next to this and get that draft through there. It does roll all the way up. It also has two types of zippers on it. So you can zip it like this to get some type of like, you could stake it out and it will make kind of a ventilation that air can get underneath while rain will shed off of it. Or you can zip it down completely and not have any air ventilation at all. Or you can kind of stake these tie outs a little bit and just let a little bit in. It's up to you. They do roll up and offer all that. So right now I haven't set any of the guy lines out because it does take up a large footprint. So one of the pros was it has a ton of floor space, but one of the cons is it has a lot of floor space. So you need to make sure you have a ton of room to be able to set this up. This is what it takes up almost 10 feet across uh, or, dent, or 10 foot diameter when it's laid out. But with the guy lines, you're talking more of a 20 foot diameter to be able to stake all these things out. Uh, and it becomes a tripping hazard in camp sometimes. Let's go inside and see what's inside. So we're inside the TP style tent now. You'll see this main center pole. This is, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is your main structure support for the tent. It does show, give a lot of stability. You can't really, I mean, you can rock the thing around, but it doesn't really move that much. Uh, but one of the benefits of this style of tent is just the amount of sheer room you have. I could put my bedding or my cot back here if you're on cots, your sleeping bag, whatever, your bedroll, and have plenty of room here. And there's just a massive amount of room in front of me. This type of tent is great for good weather camping. If you're maybe 60 degrees, 70 degrees, this tent is gonna be killer. It's gonna be great for you. If it's not raining, it's nice and dry. Right now it's 50 degrees today and the sun is, it's sunshine out and it's probably 70 in here already. And the tent's only been up for maybe 45 minutes. So it does radiate a ton of solar heat inside of this tent. Cool days, that's gonna feel great. Hot days, it's gonna feel like a sauna in here. But like I said, you're not in it most of the day. Hopefully you're out doing activities and you can trap some of that daytime heat inside. Just be cautious of what you store in your tent during the day because it does get pretty hot in here. Uh, one of the things I've learned from that is don't put your deodorant in here because you'll come back and it will be melted all over your floor. Okay, so some of the benefits of this, some of the cons on the inside, there isn't a lot of storage pockets in this tent. Actually, there are no storage pockets in this tent. Uh, these do have them from time to time. There is a hook on the pole up there and there are some little hooks throughout that you can string up some gear or hang some gear, flashlights and stuff. But mostly your gear is gonna be spread out on the floor here. There's not a ton of like hanging storage or anything like that. This is a TP style tent. Next up is an A-frame style tent. This tent, this specific tent here is pretty old. It's probably from the 70s, I'd say. It was my dad's tent and passed it on to me. I love the thing. I think it's cool. There's a lot of great benefits. They do still make this style of A-frame style tent. This is your traditional. Whenever you see somebody to say, hey, draw me a camping scene, right? They always draw that pointed A-frame style tent. This is a classic icon of camping. Some of the pros and cons of an A-frame style tent. One of the great pros is it has this just sheer side. So when it does rain, the rain pours off immediately, drips off to the side. However, there are is a con with that. When it comes down, it doesn't really take, the rain fly isn't spread out too far from the base of the tent. So the tent water will pool on the sides at times. Uh, it depends on how you set that up. So just be cautious. There are some, some guy lines here to be able to pull it out a little bit farther from the tent, but 
it's a little bit closer, so keep that in mind. It does do fairly well in weather though. Uh, another one of the other cons of it is you'll notice on the front, it does have somewhat a little bit of an overhang on the door. So if it is raining or something, you can stick your head out and you're not gonna get wet. However, there isn't that protection like the dome tents to cover your gear, put your boots outside where they're not gonna get rained on overnight. So gear and things like that, they'll have to be stored inside the tent. They're fairly inexpensive, these style of tents. You kind of get that classic camping look, but a con, however, is gonna be the weight as well. Uh, this one here, the specific style, is not terribly heavy. Uh, it's from the 70s. It was made with aluminum poles, essentially, and just real thin nylon. Uh, but it is waterproof. It does work great. But you're, think you're somewhere in that 7 to 10 pound range. So not quite great for backpacking, unless you split it up, like I said before. Somebody takes the poles and stakes, you take the, the tent. You can go without the rain fly to cut some weight down. Uh, this one does have mesh on top to be able to breathe and give you that look out at the stars look. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and these tents are usually, back in the day, they used to be fairly inexpensive. But now for this style of tent, you're looking between that $100 and $200 range. So another great benefit of this style of tent is going to be this massive, massive screen front door. So I do have the door rolled back. It does have an actual closable door that's waterproof. But when you roll that back, you have just this huge screen mesh door. There we go. I gotta fix the zipper. All right, let's head inside. All right, so we're inside the A-frame style tent right now. This is going to be one to two people you're fitting in this, this size tent here. Uh, it does have some storage, a lot of them do. They'll have like some screen storage, mesh storage in the sides. Nothing usually in the top. Um, but what it does give you is this nice piece roof that rain and weather will fall off of fairly easy. But it does give you some good room to have a bed here, sleeping bag. Said so for reference, I'm 5'10", 5'11 again. And there's, if I lay all the way back of my head at the back here, I've got almost two, three feet between my feet and the door. As far as width goes, I can fit my sleeping bag, my cotton here, and still have enough room to put some gear. But if you are two people in here, you'll fit fairly comfortably with enough room at your feet or the head to put some gear or some stuff down the middle. You're probably gonna wanna keep the middle fairly clear just so you can get in and out easier. There is one main door, and the back here does have a window that unzips to get some cross ventilation through. Might not be a great tent for backpack camping. It isn't terribly heavy. You're in that seven to 10 pound range. You said if you split that up, you're looking four to five pounds or so, three, eh, three to five pounds, depending on if you split it up and split it between two people hiking it in, carrying it out. It's not terrible. Like I said, if you drop the rain fly off, you're losing two poles and the fly itself, you're cutting that weight down even further. So if you do need a tent with a lot more room, this could be a good option for you. And finally, if you're looking to get into tent camping and you have a family, you got this guy here, the Mac Daddy of all tents. This is kind of a dome tent, but it's kind of a hybrid dome tent, so I don't put it in that dome tent family. That's a huge bitch. The center of the middle of this tent has that familiar dome style cross pole configuration. However, it does have these like kind of jet offs to the side that is going to give you almost bedroom style rooms. This is a great tent for family camping. Three, four, five, six people. This is advertised as a nine person tent. I took this for summer camp with the scouts and it was like luxury camping with myself in there. I just had myself I had my little cot, I had a table, I had a chair set up in there, I had a fan going. It was kind of nice, to be honest. Uh, but one of the pros is you can see how tall it is. I don't have the rain fly on this one either, just to kind of show that mesh tenting or that mesh ventilation. There it does have a fly on it. However, the fly for this is kind of like the A-frame tent. It doesn't really come over and create a vestibule out front for you. This one's kind of more of just an overhang that doesn't give you a lot of room, so your gear is gonna be stored inside the tent. Pros of this, 
it is super tall. This tent here is probably around seven feet tall. So you do have plenty of room to stand up, get dressed, walk around in this type of tent. Another pro is it is built really solidly. A lot of these larger tents are built fairly solid, big solid poles. They can handle a lot of weather. They're built to be able to hand multiple people. So the materials are usually a little tougher, a little thicker. They'll last you longer. So some of the cons are the price. A, this tent here, I think I got under $200, but usually for this size of a tent, you're looking between $150 to $250 range. Sometimes can go almost up to three at times, depending on features and what type of tent you get. But these family style tents are gonna cost a little bit more. There are some cheaper ones online, if you're getting into that, maybe if it's the first time you're in and you're not sure about tent camping, that might be an option for you, but I wouldn't suggest it if you're planning on doing it long term. So for reference, I you are in one corner of the tent. I am on the extreme opposite corner of the tent. This tent is probably 15, 16 feet long, maybe, maybe more, uh, just guessing. And it's probably eight feet wide, if not wider. Tent is absolutely massive. Like I said, when I took this scout camping, I had my cot set up over here. It had a nice mesh window to bring in air, tons of ventilation above me. The whole top is pr practically ventilated. It does have a window in the back that unzips and allows air ventilation in. It has an air ventilation input down below to bring in some cool air from the bottom. Just awesome. It does have a storage pocket here and one over in the other corner. That's pretty much it for storage, however. It does have a hook up in the top and it does have one of those mesh hangers to be uh, like kind of a mesh piece of material that you can hang stuff from the top as well. Same type of things before. The door does have a, do a window that unzips. Another great benefit, here I am on my knees, still tons of room off to these little sides. So a great benefit of these solid tents, I'm standing up right now and I have this much room to the ceiling. So you can get dressed in this style of tent, you can move around, walk around, get to kids, whatever. When I bought this tent, this specific tent is made by Core Equipment. I will put a link in the description for this one down below as well if you're interested in this one. I did get a fairly good deal on this on Amazon and it has been through significant weather at this point and it's held up great, no leaks, no tears, nothing like that. So this is definitely going to be a car camping tent. This tent all together probably weighs over 10 pounds and it is a fairly large bag when you roll it all up. You can also fit two full-size inflatable queen mattresses in here, like the inflatable air mattress things. You could fit those in here and still have a ton of room in the middle. So if you're more of that air mattress, glamping, camping style of a tent camper, you can fit plenty of room in here. So that is it for today. Those are my top five camping tents for three season weather camping. Like I said, you can take these out into winter camping. They will hold up just fine. They're not gonna rip or anything. My two person dome tent, I have had in extremely 20 below zero weather and slept fine. It's all just what you're gonna be comfortable in. Uh, if you want to be warm and you're tent camping in the winter, you're gonna want more of that hot, uh, hot tent. So I wanna stress, this is by no means the only answer of tents for tent camping. There are tons of different styles, uh, configurations. These are just the top five that I feel are great for entry level or even car type camping when you just wanna get out and go camping. If you're looking to get into backpacking hardcore, there's, there's, you're gonna spend more money to get into tents like that. You're talking Dyneema and lightweight materials. That's not this type of video. This is more, I'm looking to get into camping. I wanted to go tent camping. I don't want to invest into an RV or something like that. I just want to get out on the weekend, have some fun, go fishing. This is great for you. These type of tents, perfect. But that's it for today. If you like this type of content, comment down below. Let me know what type of tents you use. Uh, there's a ton of different brands out there, different kind of companies that offer tents. Some are good, some are bad. What's your findings? 
use caution when shopping on Amazon for tents. Those $20 two-person tents, you're gonna hate. They're gonna leak, they're gonna be uncomfortable, they're gonna, you're not even really gonna fit in half of them, to be honest. I ordered one before and it was like four feet long. Anyway, if you like this type of content, comment down below, give me a thumbs up, share this video. I, I don't ask that very often, but if you know somebody that's looking to get, get into camping, looking to, to buy a new tent or something like that, and they're not sure what type to buy, share this to them. I really appreciate a share, a like, a comment. I read every single comment. I appreciate all of you, every view that I get. I really do, from my heart, appreciate. So if you could, subscribe down below, click the bell so that you don't miss the next type of content from me. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Ugh, now I have to tear all these down and